guys welcome back so today we have a uh, continuation of the last video that we just put out about the Kimimoto's uh, luggage rack here on the back so I said in the end of that video that uh, we would go more into detail about storage options and stuff that Kimimoto has especially for the link queue system for their back luggage rack so we're going to go over here to this. We'll start checking this out. They sent us a, an additional package that is compatible with the Link Q system. So today we're going to show you guys what's in this box, uh, how it works, and a basic rundown. But first off, if you've made your way to this channel, you're either subscribed or you're looking for a product review of these products. Do us a favor. We're reviewing these products for you. All you gotta do is hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Now, let's get down into it. Let's just flip this thing on over. See what kind of goodies we got in here. Woo wee! That's a lot of awesome that you can pack into one box. So this is the Kimimoto uh, storage unit. There are storage box that you can add on to anything that has the link to queue system on the X3. Turn that around and let you guys see it. Check this out. Look at that. Look at all that storage room. Now this is not a cooler. This is a sealable, waterproof, can't be secured and locked. Get your locks and put on here. Make sure nobody steals your stuff. This Johnny right here. If you say you're out on the trails and stuff, you need to put tools, straps, recovery equipment, stuff that you need to store in here uh, that's needed on the trail, no matter what you ride or how you ride. So this is extra compartment space that can get you, uh, give you a little more room inside the cab and put everything on the outside of the cab. So what we're going to do is we're going to run down everything that they have in our box uh, that comes complete. It's supposed to be a very simple uh, product, a simple install, you know, and we'll go over the compatibility of the Link, the Link Q system as we do our install. But first, right now, we'll get our package in, check our hardware out. So this is their version of the items that you will be required for installation. Now knowing coming from the BRP products, um, coming from the BRP products of what these are, doing cooler installs and stuff before, here's your hooks uh, that will go on the bottom. These hooks will install on here like so, and they are adjustable, you can move them around. Um, but those go in, so you can take your system, and we'll show you, you can slide it in, you can lock it in, and you're good to go. Just takes you probably less than a minute to get it on and off. So we got our hook system, we got our hardware, we've got our required tools. This right here is your uh, Link Q system. The compatibility of these are pretty good. Uh, or functionality, as I say, the ease of use. So we'll step over here in a second and I'll show you how this works before we start mounting it to everything. So when we were doing the install of our rack, if you noticed, these guys right here are part of the Link Q system too, and these over here. Boom. So, you know, you have a backup spare if you need it, right there. Boom, latches in place. Anywhere on the bed that has one of these holes, the Link Q system, it latches in there. 
anywhere. You know, if you were to have this storage rack down here, you know, it would probably mount up right here and over here with the storage unit. Or if you were to put it on top with the rack, you would simply just place your rack up there, push this down, slide it in place, boom. And you can see how it twist locks itself into place. So first we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do a light install of our hooks. Uh, the reason why I say light install is we're gonna kinda snug these down. We're not gonna fully tighten them. Uh, that way we can adjust them as we see fit, whatever fits better. That one on, this one on, uh, going on. Now you can see this in real time, marking it on the video of how quick it takes to install these pieces. Uh, will probably take you longer to make any type of fine fitting adjustments, however you, however you feel about coming on and off. Uh, then we will swap over to these guys. So let's see, do we want to pull or do we want to push? So from this angle, which you would be pulling to, let's see, pulling to release. So it'd be pulling to the release or pushing. So I think we'll do pull to lock. Uh, I'm not really sure that there's that big of a difference on your, how you want it to work. Uh, using the other products that use the this system don't see it being that big of a deal either way still locks in place nothing else changes it's not directional so we'll get our final one button up here make sure you don't mount them upside down because you will end up just having to take them apart to put them on the right way So I think for right now, I'm just going to put all the brackets in the center, in the center of the slots and go from there. And it will test fit it and see, see how it does from there. I'm just barely snugging these guys down a little bit, giving them some pressure so they don't move around when I pick it up. Now there is an emergency strap right here that you can attach to it just in case something happens, something fails. You're not gonna lose it. Um, or you could use it for, I don't know, somehow securing it with the locks. A um, couple different uses that you could use for this. So, Real quick, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw this on the machine, gonna show you guys how it works and how easy it is. So right there, like that, we well, still got a little bit of adjustment. It's basically fine tuning the system, you know, of how it, how it fits, how it wants to fit. But going, on, going in and getting it locked down, I think we are. Yeah. So I'm gonna adjust my hooks. I'm gonna adjust those. I'm gonna bring the, I'm gonna take those more in and then I'm gonna see how my link cue is. So we're gonna adjust those real quick and then we'll get back with you. So we got our hooks adjusted. We got them set in place. And we've almost, if we got those all the way forward, we've almost got it to where our link cue uh, latches work. So all I'm gonna do is, is just raise this up a little bit. Loosen my bolts up. Find that sweet spot for it.
that one to lock in place. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna check this one. That one's good to go. This one here, get adjusted. Now, now all I gotta do from this point is, is once that they're there, I know about where they need to be. My back bolts for my hooks are tight, so I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna tighten these down. After I get these tightened down, I get this settled, we'll show you exactly how the rack functions. All right, so now we have this fully secured. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'll show you the rack itself, if you had this on the down position, locked in place. Look, how much room do you have uh, with the rack down trying to open this? So I'll show you right now. Pop these open, boom. So you don't have a whole lot of arm space with this, but, with the rack up or door dropping. Slide this up. Slide this out. Bring the rack down. Put this bad boy on top. Get that secured on, and then you can add your cooler. We'll be right back. So now you got your storage box. You got your storage box. You got your cooler. Boom, right there. That's all of it, ready to go. Now right here, we have a small selection uh, of a few things I just thought to grab to try and reference and show you the capacity of the inside of this thing. So right now we have a, uh, a front and rear uh, 72 inch X3 axle. I'm gonna show you guys how this axle will fit down in there. Boom, there's one. Let's go look at another one, see how this one does. We'll take that one, load her down in there an impact a couple drills a couple little soft impacts you know the capacity so you need some mud boots you're gonna be waiting around in there or if you're wearing your boots you take them out you know you throw your Throw those out. Got a little cooler. You can fit you a cooler down in there. That. So you need some straps. These are just my trailer straps, but I'm using them as reference. We usually carry some recovery straps. Cram those down in there. You know, and you got your all your stuff on the go, not be without. Now, using everything as a visual size reference, that gives you a really good idea on how much this thing can hold and give you a variety no matter what you're doing or what you need. But you can pack a lot of stuff in here. So, I'm going to end this video out. i tell you guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Kimi Moto for sending us these products to test out to do installs, to send to you guys, uh, all the full reviews. If you're just now uh, seeing the channel and seeing these videos and whatnot, dude, drop us a like. Comment on our videos, let us know what you think. 
Uh, this helps us pursue to do more because you guys engage with us and you engage with that company. So, again, thank you to Kimimoto. Thank you to everybody watching. Thank you to everybody that supports us. Peace out.